Welcome to the OLV Daily Meditation for Sunday, April 26th, the third Sunday of Easter. Our gospel account for today is from the end of Luke's gospel, and it is the account of the disciples on the road to Emmaus. And I'm not going to read any part of this account because I think it's familiar to most of us. If you get a chance, read through the entire account because it is truly very powerful. But the synopsis of this account is, is that these disciples, they left Jerusalem. They were upset that Christ was crucified because they thought he was going to be the Messiah. And as they journeyed, Christ himself met them and explained to them that what they experienced in Jerusalem was actually the fulfillment of Scripture. That everything that happened in Jerusalem was meant to happen. And their dejection was turned into their hearts burning on fire with faith. And they couldn't understand why while they were journeying, but they invited Jesus into their homes for a, their home for a meal. And when they broke bread with him, they understood it was Jesus. And that it was Jesus who met them on the way. It was Jesus that met them in their greatest need and provided understanding and support and care. Help came when they least expected it. And I guess as I was praying with this passage, I was drawn back to an experience I had when I was going through college. And the experience was this. One weekend um, in the spring, two friends of mine and I decided that we wanted to go camping. We wanted to get off campus. We just needed a break. So we heard that there was an amazing state park about two hours away from campus. And since we all, all three of us were 20-year-old men, we thought that we did not need to really get good directions. We kind of knew we were going, so we were going to be fine. And since this was 2001, we did not have GPS. But again, back then, didn't really know GPS existed. Everything was okay. We'll figure it out. As you could probably imagine how the story will go is, is that we did get lost. And at a high point of frustration, it was decided that we would stop at a store and look at a map. However, we were college students. So we weren't going to buy the map, but we just unfolded it in the store, looked at it, and we're having a spirited discussion about how to get to the state park. And as of as if from nowhere, all of a sudden a voice said while we were discussing, do you need some help? And we all turned and there was a kind looking older gentleman standing behind us. And since I think at that point I was the most frustrated, I just said, yeah, we do need some help. We're just trying to get to a state park near here. And he immediately grinned and started to explain what we need to do. But to be truthful, his explanation of how to get there involved more landmarks than the names of any roads. And I think he could see that our confusion started to mix in with our frustration. In fact, I remember thinking, I'm just going to start looking at the map again. But this man noticed this change, and he just said suddenly, you know what? I'll lead you out there. And of course, we were kind of shocked by that and a little embarrassed, like, no, 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 we, we can do it. And he just said, and again, in his very kind voice, you boys clearly need to relax before you get to the state park. So if I can help you do that, I'd be happy to help. And it was an immense help. And that camping trip, is something that the three of us still talk about to this very day. So sometimes in our life, help comes from the least expected places. And sometimes in times when we need it the most. And if this is true, when we're not thinking of faith. Just imagine how true it is when we look at our faith. Our faith always reminds us that our God is there. Help is always there. 
peace is possible. So Christ will do for us what he did for the disciples on the road to Emmaus. He will help us through this journey that we're facing now and in the future. And our faith in many ways helps us because it helps to put everything in the right context. So several things to remember. One is is that the victory over sin and death has been won. Christ has won the victory. As St. Peter reminds us in the second reading for today, we have been saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And furthermore, we know that there is nothing in this world that can separate us from the love of God. St. Paul's words in his letter to the Romans is probably one of the clear statements of how we are to remember that we can never be separated from God's love. For he says, I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, throughout our lives, we just have to stay focused on Jesus Christ. And I know that this may be even harder now because many of us cannot gather in our churches. We can't be with our church families. But this journey of isolation will come to an end. And all of us will be once again gathered together around our families, around our churches. And we are getting closer and closer to this reality with each passing day. And I repeat... We are getting closer and closer to being back in our churches with each passing day. However, until then, we know what we have to do. We have to keep moving forward, and we have to keep focused on Jesus Christ. Knowing that our faith is truly a source of help and support in these difficult days. And as I end today... I want to report that I have no problem stopping to ask for directions anymore. I would say that my life has taught me that it is okay to ask for help. And again, Jesus is always there. And many of us, including the parish, are here to help any of you who need help in these days. So please be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers. And I hope all of you have a blessed week. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.